see, my room has been Christmasified. Thanksgiving break just ended on campus, which means that winter break is exactly three weeks around the corner. I'm lucky enough to have people all over the world who send in really, really awesome pieces of mail, and I have a ton backed up that I really want to get to. So that's the purpose of today's video. And I suppose I should come up with some type of method to at least make this somewhat entertaining. Oh, I know. In between each piece of mail, I'll give a critical piece of life advice. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. First piece of mail is coming from Dana Kay in Singapore. Oh, first line. Hi, Gab. I can't believe you're actually reading this right now. I can read, yes. Be it in your blog post videos or even in the comments section, your open willingness to suggestions is a reminder that we are much better off embracing than being self-defensive. It's true. Dana sending all my love to Singapore. Thank you so much for this beautiful letter. It is going right up on the wall. Oh, that is some high quality cardstock. Oh, wait, yeah, piece of advice. Damn it. Okay, that took me forever, but I got one. Never be afraid to send a plate of food back to the kitchen if they fudged up your order. Pretty simple, but I feel like not a lot of people, not enough people know that they can actually do that when you're paying for a service. Go figure, you actually are supposed to get what you want. Wow, next up is also from Singapore. I used to think that people at Stanford are nerds and did not know how to have fun, I'm so sorry. It's okay, honestly, I said the same thing. When I first got into Stanford, both of my parents went to schools in California and I was really nervous about it and I was like, listen guys, like I really, like I know it's a good school and I'm still gonna go there and like it's fine or whatever, but you know, they're kinda like nerds, right? Aren't they super lame? And honestly, thank God for the fact that my dad went to USC and my mom went to UCLA because their reaction to that was... <laughs> Do you know what college is? It's going up on the wall. Next piece of life advice. If you're about to meet someone for the first time, don't stalk them on social media too much. One time I was going on a date with this guy and uh... <laughs> I looked him up beforehand and I saw that he had transferred to Stanford. He's like, yeah, you know, I'm this year or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, have you always been at Stanford? There are very few transfer students at Stanford. And he was like, no, actually, I haven't. How did you, uh, how'd you know that I had it? Oh, snap. We got a package, y'all. This is coming from Emmanuel in Las Vegas. Hey, I was just there. Dear Kath, I just want to thank you lots for making Kath in college. With whichever college I'll be going to, your posts and videos have taught me to keep an open mind and make the most out of my college experience. Yes! This is tough because I love Stanford, but at the end, a school won't make or break my future. Boy, you have been watching Kath in college. I began Face It when I was 19 and have continually worked to expand it since. Oh, snap! Yo! I sent along a sick t-shirt! Alright guys, you heard the man. Check out faceitnv.org. Guess what, Emmanuel? It's going on the wall. Third piece of life advice. If you ever find yourself in the following situation. Hey, let's all hang out and do this fun thing! I mean, like, I could go either way. I'm pretty 50-50. Do the thing. Whatever it is, just do the thing. Coming from Gabriella in Miami, Florida. Interesting folding mechanism, Gabriella. What? Hi, so I know you'll probably never even see or open this letter, but what the heck, I'm writing it anyways. Girl, I am just some kid at some school and just, I'm not the freaking president of the United States, chill. I can tell you as a freshman in high school, you're one of my biggest role models. Wow, Gabby, damn, making me hit the feels. This is definitely going up on the wall. All right, Gabby inspired me for my fourth piece of life advice. In life, you will have many opportunities to be positive and to be negative. When you have the opportunity to build somebody up or to put somebody down, build them up. And if you can't, then don't say anything at all. If in the case you're trying to give criticism to make somebody's life better, learn how to do it constructively and tactfully. There is no place for bullying in a smart, sensible, self-confident, intelligent person's life. And last but not least, coming in hot from Honolulu, Hawaii. Ooh, and there's a little object. Ooh, what? <gasps> Nicholas sent me shells. Why am I so excited right now? Are these, oh, there's sand in it. This is sand from, 
Hawaii when I had a reason. Well, I Snapchatted you, and to my surprise, you answered. Ah, oh, crazy! I do that again. Just a kid. You've helped me keep my grades up and stay focused. I can get behind that. Okay. P.S. I found some shells by my house. Here's a little Hawaii in a letter. Dude, Nick, I'm freaking out, man. These shells are so cool. I gotta find a good place to put them so I don't lose them or anything, but this is like legit, you know? These came from the beach in freaking Hawaii. Thank you so much. It's going up on the wall. And I think for my final piece of life advice, I'm gonna keep it simple. Take some time today, right now if you can, to just step outside. Breathe in the air around you and just realize that you are here, you are alive, you are a thinking, heart-beating, magical, mystical person being. I gotta write that down, that sounded really good. And that your existence on this earth is totally and completely arbitrary. Everyone is unique, everyone is special, and don't forget that. Bet you didn't see that coming. All right, y'all, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and get some sleep. Of course, as always, thank you for watching and subscribing to Kathleen College. Y'all are the realest. If you wanna follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, whatever, you can. If you don't want to, that's fine, too. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you soon.